Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Will and I have another anime figure haul for you guys. So this will be mostly pre-owned figures that I've bought off of Y'all Japan Auction or Mercari. I have an order back there from Amiyami with a couple of pre-owned figures as well. And then I have this box here from Good Smile Company, which I believe is a Nindo. I'm not exactly sure what's in this box. In fact, I'm not sure what's in any of these boxes behind me because I had these sent via surface mail and you know it's been a few months since i actually bought them and i have some other shipments coming in as well via surface so i'm not exactly sure what figures are in these boxes here so yeah let's just go ahead and find out together so for our first figure it's going to be overlords albedo and this is actually a re-release nindo and i'm actually starting to get away from buying nindos unless it's a character that my wife really likes because she is a big fan of nindos or if the nindo comes with like some unique face plates or poses that you can put them in or accessories and this albedo figure definitely has a couple of really really great face plates that i like very unique and kind of you know speak to her personality plus it comes with this lovely Ein's body pillow that she can uh, that you can put in her hand. So, you know, the body pillow and the face plates together are the main reasons why I got this Nindo. I think they are absolutely adorable, and yeah, you know, not too expensive either. So, pretty happy for it. All right, now jumping into our Yahoo Japan auction and Mercari figures that we picked up, I got some pretty good deals over the past few months. And the first one that I unboxed, I was not planning for this is going to be Albedo by Katakawa. And this is her 1-7 scale, came out a while ago. And I'm not even sure how I actually found this on Yaha Japan Auction. I think I just went to Yaha Japan Auction, filled it for anime figures, and I saw this pop up. And I won this figure for 17,500 yen, which is like 100 and I don't know, 20 bucks, 130 bucks or so, something like that. So super cheap. And I wasn't even expecting to win when I bid on it. It just happened to win. so. Now I have another Albedo scale figure. So let's just go ahead and get it open. All right, so here she is out of the box. And I'm not sure if I said this before, but she is a completely unopened brand new figure. So getting here for 17,500 yen is pretty crazy in my opinion. Again, I was not expecting to win that auction, but I guess I just got lucky because this is a incredible figure. I mean, Jesus, everything about it, like her dress sculpt looks absolutely amazing. The kind of definition around her stomach that they kind of portray looks great. And then her hair sculpt. I mean, just look at that. That is nuts. It is so detailed and just looks so well done. Her feathers are really uh, well done as well. And yeah, I absolutely love this figure. I mean, it does have that big, shiny, black, glossy base that's just there, but I can live with it because Overall, the figure is absolutely wonderful. And I did just get that like Union Creative uh, Albedo figure just a few months ago, which I think is a great figure. But you know, now that I have this one, I think I may end up selling that Union Creative one. I'm not sure yet. I don't know if I need two Albedo scale figures. They are kind of different vibes, so we'll see. But I'm definitely liking this one a lot more. So the next figure is going to be Amelia from Re Zero. This is her Good Smile Company 1-7 scale. And I'm a big fan of Amelia. She's probably my favorite girl from Re Zero. So I definitely wanted to get a figure of her. And I wanted to get a figure of her in just her normal canon outfit. I know the uh, Amelia figure of her and Rem in the Chinese dress looking a little sultry just came out. But I felt like this one was just kind of more up my alley. And I only paid 17,000 yen for this as well. And it's also a unopened figure. So I think I got a pretty good deal on it. All right, so here she is. And she's a pretty decent looking figure. So the first thing that you know kind of catches my eye is definitely gonna be her face. It looks just like Amelia. I mean, I expect Good Smile Company to really nail faces. So I'm really not too surprised by that. So definitely like her face. The overall paint job is, oh, it's pretty clean, it's pretty clean, but really not like a lot of shading on her outfit. She's a very flat, you know, coat of paint that they put on her, which may be just kind of the artistic, you know, direction they wanted to go with, but it looks fine. Just nothing like too crazy with the shading, but all looks good. Her hair scope looks pretty nice as well. Again, not too crazy with that either, especially coming from <laughs> this Albedo figure next to me. But overall, you know, I think she looks great. They really did kind of nail Amelia for me. So pretty happy about it. And the only other thing that I really would want with the Amelia figure is having Puck. I really wish there were more scale figures 
with Puck, but I think it's like only maybe one, maybe two figures that have Puck with Amelia, and I just could not find one for a reasonable price. So I kind of settled with this one. Again, it's only 17,000 yen, so I think that's a pretty fair price for this and about as much as I was willing to pay for an Amelia figure. But yeah, she looks pretty good. And for our next two figures, it's going to be figures from my favorite series of all time, the Monogatori series. We have Karen and Tsuki Aragi, the Fire Sisters. And I definitely had to get these. I'm kind of like on a hunt for all of the one eighth scale good smile figures that came out from Monogatari. So yeah, definitely pick these up. And I actually got these together in a package deal for 24 or 23,500 yen for both of them, which is about $170. So a pretty good deal for both of the figures, especially since it came with um, Karen here, because I feel like she's usually definitely more on the expensive side compared to her sister. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get her open. All right, so here we had them out of the packaging and they look absolutely wonderful, but they were a pain in the ass to put together, specifically Karen here and getting her onto the steamroller base or whatever you want to call it, very easy to do, but getting her jacket to stay on her shoulders is damn near impossible. I was trying for like 10, 15 minutes or so, trying to get just her jacket onto her shoulders, but it just would not want to stay. I checked on my figure collection, saw some other people were having very similar issues and really no solutions that I could see. So what I may end up doing is maybe getting like double-sided tape or some type of sticky putty or something and putting it on the inner side of her jacket and then just forcing it onto her shoulders and keeping it secure that way. So that's probably what I end up doing and not worry about paint transfer or anything like that. It's whatever, as long as she has her jacket on, I'll be happy. And then moving on to the lovely Tsuki here, really no problems putting her together. Very straightforward in fact, and no major flaws with these figures. They're definitely not brand new like these two here, but they are used figures. There is maybe some very light dust accumulation on their hair that I need to clean up. And then I think Tsuki has a couple very, very small paint chips on her hair, but you really can't tell unless you're looking very, very closely. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with them. And I think I got a pretty good deal for them, especially for Karen here, because again, her figure usually goes for a lot more than what I got for both of these combined. Moving on to our Ami Ami pre-owned figure shipment. So I got two figures here and I didn't get like a crazy bargain with them, but I feel like I paid a pretty fair price um, for what they are. And the first one is gonna be another Monogatari figure. It's gonna be Sengoku Nadeko. And I definitely really did like this character a lot. She's a really good villain actually. And yeah, she's just great. So I wanted to get a figure of her. I really wanted her in her God form where she has the you know, white snake hair, but I just couldn't find that figure for a reasonable price. I'm still on the hunt for it. So if I can get a good deal on it, I will definitely pick it up. But for now, I got this you know figure from Alter, which I think looks pretty good as well. So let's go ahead and get it open. So here we have her in a very simple little figure, but Alter just killed it. She looks absolutely terrific. The paint and the shading looks so damn good. The overall scope looks great as well. Really love the pose. Her facial expression looks so good with that winking face. And she does have another headpiece where she has a different facial expression of her just smiling at you without winking, but I'm definitely sticking with the winking. And you can't take her jacket on and off as well, as well as her hat. And the good thing and the most ironic thing is that her jacket actually stays on her shoulders, unlike the Karen from Good Smile that we just looked at. No problems getting her jacket on and off. Even without her hair holding the jacket down, the jacket stays on her shoulders. No problem whatsoever. So, trip little figure. Again, I'm still gonna be looking out for that Nadeko goddess figure at some point, but for now, this one's pretty great. And for our final figure of this video, it's definitely gonna be one I'm very excited for. It's gonna be Hamada from Madoku Magica. This is the Aniplex 1-7 scale. And when I saw this on Amiyami, I was kind of in shock because I've been looking for this figure for a long time for a reasonable price. And this one only cost me 20,000 yen. It was rated B on uh, Amiyami. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it open. So here we have her. And before I even start talking about the actual figure, let me just say something about the anime absolutely love the anime i've watched it a few times i put all of my friends onto it they loved it you know once you get past like episode two get to episode three and shit starts hitting the fan it's just amazing from then on out and she is definitely probably my favorite character 
from the series. So I had to get this figure because it looks so damn sick. I mean, everything about this figure just looks so good. Just the pose that she's in, her facial expression, the fact that she's holding, you know, a dead QB in her hand looks so good. In fact, it does come with the option to not have QB in her hand. And why would you do that? Who would actually put this figure on display without QB? in her hand that's just stupid just go ahead and throw away the other hand piece because i'm never going to use it but yeah this figure looks spectacular just the way her hair is flowing just capturing that motion of her walking and then the actual base itself she does come for like you know pre-attached to the base but really it's kind of whatever but the base looks great it looks a little maybe on the cheap side but it's still capturing you know that clock and her time travel very well especially with the little flame effects going around it <laughs> It's just a terrific figure, and this is definitely a grail figure for me and probably one of my favorite figures in my collection now. All right, so that wraps it up for this haul video, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Be sure to check out some of the other videos up on the screen for some of my other unboxings. Thanks for watching. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more future videos. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.